As the web has evolved, web standards are evolving along with it. So we've talked about how HTTP is giving way to HTTP2. The markup language used uh, by web browsers is also evolving. And, and the latest standard for HTML that is rendered by browsers is something called HTML5. And that came out, I think, in, it was released officially in 2014. So it's a couple of years old. Um, HTML5 really, in many ways, reflects the evolution of the web. It reflects the emergence of rich media content that people are using the web to view, and it reflects the emergence of JavaScript and other things that people are using to build single-page web applications. So, so what, are, what are the new things, some of the new things in HTML5? So HTML5 introduces some new tags into the browser that browsers are expected to be able to deal with. Uh, one of them is the video tag. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, before, if you wanted to get video onto your, onto your web page, you had to deal with like Flash or some sort of weird library that you had to use, and it was, it was kind, of, kind of ugly. Now, if you want a video to embed a video onto your page, all you have to do is open a video tag, give it a source, uh, you know, wherever that video is coming from. That's like video.mp4 or whatever. And as long as you use a format that the browser is expected to understand, it will take this video tag and it will replace it with a video player that will load your content and display it for the user and has little controls and everything. So this, so this is kind of cool, right? I mean, you know, it, it, web developers used to have to go to a lot of trouble to get video into the page. Now it's very simple. Same thing with audio. So audio, you know, now I can basically, there's some sort of, I don't know if it's audio or some sort of music tag that I can do that will cause the browser to load a song or something like this. So what we're doing is we're starting to raise the bar for web browsers. You have to support this kind of content. If you want to be a standards compliant web browser now, you have to support these video and audio tags. So you have to know how to play and decode video, and you also have to know how to do the same thing with audio. There are other uh, media elements as well. There's something that called the canvas tag that came along with uh, HTML5. The canvas tag sort of opens up a general purpose drawing service on which you can do various types of 2D drawing. So you can, you know, it's, it's like a, you know, you can create lines and you can draw things and it has its own interface, but you can use this to do various types of 2D graphics that in the past, again, might have required things like Flash. So this combination of things, you know, you can really kind of look at as like the Flash killer. This was um, not necessarily designed or intended to, but I think it's really had the effect of sort of pushing Flash out of the web mainstream because a lot of what people were doing with Flash, you can now do uh, much uh, easy, much more easily, or much you know in a more standards compliant way using these new these new features. Um, HTML5 also came along uh, with new standards about uh, the document object model. Um, and some other improvements, uh, new divisions for the page that um, you know didn't exist before, and so you know this is you know the web is evolving, right? I mean, people are this is a reflection of what people are doing online, the types of content they're viewing, the types of experiences that we expect the web to provide, um, and HTML is evolving along with the rest of us.